Hello and welcome to Furrier's World, where we are back on Project Ozone 2 doing more stuff and things. And I think we're ready to maybe make some automen, automation, 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 it's easy for me to say. Automation is what we need. Uh, we need, we need some more magmatic dynamos. I think what we was after were the invar to make the magmatic dynamos. We wanted two magmatic dynamos, I believe. And we had those and those, but we didn't have enough invar to make the rest of it. So now we should have enough invar to make the rest of it. Now we've got quite a bit of invar. We, we made a little bit of invar. We, we went to one side and we made some invar. There we go. Two of them. Nice. And we need the power conduits, which we may have. We've only got two. That's fine. That's fine. That's not a problem. Lead. We need some lead and we need... What else goes into the... What else goes into those conduits? Ducts. The flux ducts, don't you know? Redstone flux duct. Glass, lead, and redstone. We're going to need some more redstone. We are going to need a little bit more redstone. But we got we got a little bit. That gave me one, didn't it? Let's get a bit more than that. Let's be a little bit more generous about that, shall we, game? There we go. Fifteen of them. Eh, it should be enough. Did we have enough glass? No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, we'll grab the glass. That should be everything we need to make some more leadstone flux ducts. Leadstone flux ducts. Bop. Twelve. That's fourteen leadstone flux ducts. That's not too shabby. And we also wanted hardened fluid conduit. Hardened fluid duct. Opaque. That's the one we want. So that's lead and invar. Okay, we should be able to actually do that with what we've got in our inventory. We get 12 more of them. We might have to do some fancy shenanigans with this stuff eventually, but for now, I think we're probably going to be okay. We need we need a way up onto this that's easier to to, to handle because this is this is not good. Uh, so what we can do is temporarily kind of do this. That gets us up there. Uh, we want to power. If we get our power cables and we go, you'll need power, you'll need power, you'll need power, and you down there will need power as well. And then we go, where have we put them? We put them up there. So bosh, bosh. So then we can just go bish, bash. That's That's not the right thing. That's not the right thing at all. We'll get rid of them. Uh, these are the right things. These are the right things. We are going to pick those up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We are going to pick those up. There we go. Uh, they haven't powered up. Good. There's no lava in the system. Everything should be starting to power down. I think everything is a little bit powering down. Yeah, the sieves are, sieves are out of power. The sieves have done the running out of power dance. That's fine and dandy. That's what we wanted to see. So that this one will now do its job. Let's go get those those um, igneous extruders on the, on the go. Uh, you can have. Oh no, they go in this one. You can have that and that. Uh, you can have that, that, and that, and I will take these three and I will see if I can get them where they need to be. So we're basically just going to be replacing. These hoppers, which are hopefully empty, hoping for these all empty. Where's my pickaxe there? That top one, that needs to be input, which is blue. And we want an igneous extruder there. Hop. Down onto this one. Get rid of the hopper, which might be full. No, it wasn't. Oh, that's good. That's a bargain. Igneous extruder up. And then over here, igneous extruder up. And these need to be programmed with outputs on the bottom. And no inputs. They're static static units. They're not going to be doing any sort of inputting at all. They're just going to output. And they're going to output on the bottom where we need it. Where you need it most in life, on the bottom. Uh, so we need lava and water in these now. So if we hop down here, grab a bucket of lava. Is this doable? Oh, it is doable. Okay. Lava. 
And then we want another bucket of water. Lava, sorry. And another bucket of lava. Lava. Excellent. So these should all now, in theory... I like the fact the way you can actually walk around this thing. It's manageable. Manageable is what it is. We don't actually want to turn this on yet. Uh, you can have water. That fires up the igneous extruder straight away, which is what we wanted to see. This one's a bit of a stretch, but we get it. Where the hell did that water go? Do we need to disable red... I don't know where that water went. I know we had a bucket of water there. I don't know where it went. Oh, is the server crashing? The server might be crashing, you know. Something's going on. Something a little bit suspect is going on here. I'm not sure what. It may be a server crash. But that water still hasn't sorted itself out. Hmm. Blood Moon is rising. The game's still rolling on. I think we need to go and redo this water grab. Something, Something's wrong here. So we're going to take that one. There, yeah, that one filled. We're going to fill that one in. We're going to take that one. There we go. Something went a little bit awry there. I don't know what. But that water clearly wasn't in my bucket. Have you fired up? You have. Okay, so it's just the really high one now we got to do. We can do that. We can get that. Let's just make sure the water... Yep, the water flows. Good, 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 good. So now... We don't need to keep filling hoppers. This system will just produce and produce and produce and produce and produce for days and days and days, but we need a way to deal with what's getting stored down here, other than just taking it out and putting it in this chest, which, which isn't a long-term solution. It's working, but it's not a long-term solution. When we hit a stack, we take it out put it in there. Uh, got no stacks in there, good and nothing in there. Alright, oh, we can turn this back on again now. We can turn this bad boy back up to the on position and see what happens. <coughs> this should be interesting. Hardened fluid duct is what we want. We want one of them. Got a couple more hoppers that are now redundant to our needs. We're going to turn this bad boy to the on position. Everything should power up. It does. Excellent. Things are doing, things are doing, and things are doing. Sieves are sieving. These struggle, I think. These, these, these. I think these are hardened, but even so, I still think they struggle. We need a filter on that bad boy so we can actually see where all the stuff is going. I think we should have some filters somewhere. Here we go. We want one of them. And we probably want one of them. Oh, they're not hardened servos. I thought they were hardened servos we had. I think it's another Blood Moon. Uh, let's just get rid of Shooty McGee there. He could be a problem. And Shooty McGee at the back there. Oh. oh well. Oops. Shot a guy in the head there. A little bit. Right. So what we want coming out of here is crushed copper. Of course. You can go in there. Have some crushed copper. Nice. Uh, crushed iron, obviously. Ob. Crushed iron goes in there. Nice. And titanium, no. Lead, no. All the, all the other garbage. Look at the garbage. It's honking great piles of seething masses of garbage. I do not approve, game. Right, we just need to move these stairs temporarily because I think we're going to need more, more draws before we turn this bad boy to the full power position. Because we're going to send a lot of junk down there that doesn't have anywhere to go. But out of here, we want aluminium, no. Tungsten, no. Crushed iron, yes. Titanium, no. Lead, no. Yeah, we need more stuff, don't we? Kind of hoping these don't start throwing on the floor. Because that would be bad. That would be bad. That just seems to be pulling garbage out. We've got to get some gold, silver, and nickel, and tin out of there yet. 
Uh, and we need a way to draws. We need draws. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk my risk a nighttime run over to the wood to get draws. This is our risky proposition. Anything bad can happen, and it can usually happen over here to me. We don't like bad things happening to me. Other people, not a problem. Me, not so thrilled about. We only got six saplings out of that? That sucks. That was powerful suckage right there. Ooh, we got another sapling. Seven. That's mildly less sucky then, I suppose. I don't know where all the saplings went. Do you ever feel you're in a place you shouldn't be? That's where I feel I am right now. I'm going back to my block. I'm worried that I can get sniped while crossing the bridge. That's the thing that worries me. Uh, so, we got wood there, didn't we? So we can make some, hopefully, more storage units. Should be able to knock out eight more. That might be enough, given that we've already got some capacity over there. Hi, could you get out of the way? That'd be great, thank you. Given that we've already got some capacity over there, and we've still got enough capacity to make a few more if we need to. Uh, we want to make, remake, if you will, our hideous sta stone stairs that we had. Just so we can gain access to this debacle over here without corrupting it too much. Right, what we want to do is knock that out and we're going to have we're going to have um, drawers, drawers which we've got here, along here as well. So we're going to have draw and draw and draw and draw, 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 draw. Good. That should now, realistically, be enough. Hopefully. Get rid of this ugly abomination. Eventually the drawers will be much bigger than this because we need to put iron and stuff in as well and we just, just do not have enough resources for that sort of thing. Uh, have we got any tin out of here? Yes, we've got tin. Good. So we need you to fill tin as well. I think you can have the tin. Feeling generous. Uh, nickel. Excellent. You are you are the chief player there. So there's any silver and gold we need to pick up out of there now. Any silver? Any gold? No. Okay, that's good. That's all good. Everything else needs to go that way. So we can we can probably look at maybe activating this now. We've got enough storage. We've got enough item duct to pick. Some sieves, some filtering set. Um, not not perfect by any stretch. So we can put that there. And we can put that there, and we can set that to ignored, and that should now empty that sieve out. Crushed silver out. There's one of them. There's one of them. Crushed nickel. So we're just waiting on gold now. Oh, we want to. <sighs> Damn. Damn. And damn. Nickel, silver, tin, copper. That should have been set to whitelist. That might have made a mess over here. Uh, crushed iron ore. Yes, it has. Let's get all that out. Any other crushed ores appeared? No. Okay, that's fine. The crushed iron ore was the first to go, and we dealt with it. We did deal with it. Any gold ore yet? I mean, it'll show up over here. It will show up in the in our crushed pile. What's in there now? Crushed gold ore. Ooh. How did we miss that? How on earth did we miss that? That's got to go in there. Perfect. And you can have that. There we go. Good, 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 good. Everything is working now. Over here, you are lead. You are titanium. You've got some seeds in there. You've got the certus quartz in there. 
It's going okay. Let's see if we can knock up a couple more draws quickly. Some some quick draws, if you will. Because uh, I think we're going to run out of space here fairly quickly. I'm worried that space is going to be too much of a premium. Do we not seriously have enough to do that? There we go. Perfect amount of wood. Right, they're around the wrong way, which is not the end of the world. We can flip them around. Good. And then we have five more. And this is five high, I think. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Back off. Good. Good, 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 good. So what have we got here? Aluminium, good. Titanium, lead, tungsten, and exotic seeds. Perfect. Everything there is perfect. That's good. How is our aluminium supply? Yeah, we'll cross that bridge later. Right now we need to work out how we're going to process all this mess out. <coughs> fun, fun, fun. Iron is full again. That can go in there. And also, I think, iron was full. Okay, you can go in there. So much iron. So much goddamn iron. So that should now all be working perfectly. Those three should just happily chug away. Oh, of course, our secondaries are going to be an issue, aren't they? Yes, our secondaries are going to be something of a prescient issue. We need to eliminate the secondaries, which is fine. We can just feed secondaries down into this pipe anyway, and then they'll go into a barrel. Or draw. I'm calling them barrels and they're actually drawers. But we do need to eliminate the secondaries. I mean, I'm just throwing them away for now. Bit wasteful. I think we can do that now. Looking at the way that that's working, I think we can do that now. Or maybe next episode. But for now, I think, for Onfurrier's world, we are going to go with a cheery old ta-ta.